What is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. I've been wanting to post this video for a while now since it covers the very basics in order to create vector drawings in Illustrator. If you're new around here and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Before we start, I'd like to remind you all that you can now become exclusive members of my YouTube channel. By going below and clicking on the join button, you can select one of three tiers to subscribe to, so you can help support me as a content creator. By becoming a silver member, you can have access to my exclusive mobile phone wallpapers based on the illustrations posted on my YouTube channel. You will also have access to my sketch file with a color palette already picked out for you so you can easily follow along. However, by becoming a gold member, you will have access to my fully colored illustrations or other designs created on this channel for you to dissect and study how I created the illustrations. Just remember these illustrator files are not free to use for any commercial reasons. It is simply a guide to help you understand how I draw. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Let's begin to understand how to create straight lines. The pen tool works by clicking and creating paths, which are connected by anchor points. For starters, I'll concentrate on creating this diamond illustration using only straight lines. If you are a member of the channel, I included this practice file in the silver and in the gold membership so you could download from. Select the pen tool, set the fill color to none, and make sure you have a bright colored stroke. I will also give my stroke a 4 point thickness with rounded caps and corners. Starting from the center of the diamond, click and drag a straight line going downwards. By holding shift on your keyboard, you will see that it will lock your line to creating a 45 or a 90 degree angle. So for this, let's hold shift on your keyboard and create the exterior part of the diamond focusing on the left side only. Also connect this horizontal line right here. And for these lines, we can let go of shift and just click and connect them like so. To finish off the diamond, select everything and activate the reflect tool. While holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, click at the center point of the diamond. This will bring up a box. Make sure you have the vertical option selected and click on Copy. So we easily created this diamond illustration using straight lines only. Okay, so we covered how to create straight lines, but they can also be curved. Curves created with the pen tool are also called Bezier curves. So let me show you how to create them using this example. Go ahead and create your starting point on this end here. This time, click and hold. So as I drag my cursor, you can see I have these two handles I can rotate around my point. The way I position these handles will determine the angle of my curve. If you hold shift on your keyboard, you will be able to drag these handles vertically and horizontally straight. Drag the handle up until the guide created. You can then click on the other end and do the same to match the left side. This will create a perfect half circle. Using what we learned, I'm going to show you how to create this simple cat illustration using the pen tool. Beginning with the ear at the top, create an anchor point. Make a second anchor and drag to create a curved line. Click on the second anchor to break it. And just continue clicking and dragging our lines to trace the cat illustration. I'll keep this process in real time so you can easily follow along.
All right, now that the cat drawing is completed, we can also go back and adjust our curves to perfect the drawing. By using the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow tool, you can click on the anchor points and the handles should appear. Here you can drag the anchor points to correct the line work. And there you have it everybody, this is a step-by-step -step guide of the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know any questions in the comments below. Cheers everyone!